Hi, I'm Nick from a load of old scrap. I make sculptures from scrap, salvage, recycled, and sometimes new metal. Now, today's video um, should have been out about a week ago. Unfortunately, my SD card decided to go wrong and I lost all the footage of the making of the start of the sculpture that I'm working on. Um, now, what I'm doing is a Staffy sculpture, a life-sized uh, Staffordshire Bull Terrier sculpture. Got it, I lost the footage of this. Um, but you can see there's a rough armature, skeleton, whatever you want to call it, uh, guide for me to follow that I've made up already. I'm just gradually filling in bits and pieces here and there at the moment. Uh, so I have cut up this mountain of scrap here, There's all sorts of stuff in there. So that is all the mosaic type uh, materials that I'll use to fill in the rest of the dog. I thought I'd take a minute just to tell you a little bit about why I'm making this sculpture. I was commissioned to make this staffy by a couple who sadly lost their son a few years ago. Um, basically when he passed away they inherited his dog which was a staffy and it's come to the point now they've sort of found my work um, off the back of watching a Scrap Kings episode and they got in contact to say look could you make a life-size sculpture of this staffy uh, that we can use put in a memorial garden. working in underneath the chest area here. Now I've not got any kind of guide, a shape for it. Hopefully you can kind of see where I've just got this open space. I've got a guide for where the base of it, where the bottom of the chest is, but nothing for the shape of it here. So what I'll do is use some six mil round bar, which is that sort of stuff, and shape that uh, into the right kind of angles and shape that needs to go into here weld a few pieces in just as a bit of a guide on where I need to be putting the rest of the material and then I can carry on filling in around there and in underneath. This side of the chest and in towards the sort of waist of the back of the dog filled in. Um, what you might have seen on camera, I'm not sure how well it will show up, I'll flip the dog over in a minute so you can see, um, is where there's quite a sharp curve at the base at the bottom of the chest there to go in underneath. And most dogs kind of come together as a almost a point in underneath in the chest. But the staffies, because they're quite stocky, they've got a, 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 a bulkier chest underneath. That's, I need to curve those around there. So what I'll do is flip that over, put some heat onto those pieces and bend them around. over on the base of the chest just to make it a little bit easier to tie in with the next um, section of the mosaic scrap. Um, I can move on and either do the chest on the other side or work on the underneath. I think I'm probably going to work on the underneath now, um, get that bit done and then work on the inside of the legs, that kind of thing. 
um, and just gradually work my way around the whole thing. Okay, so that's the main part of the chest on the sides, the underneath, the stomach, um, legs, most of the back, all sort of to a point done now. I'll fill in some more um, later on in, in, in another stage of making the sculpture. Uh, so what I'll do off camera is fill in the other side of the chest, the rest of the underneath, um, and then you guys will come back when I start work on my head. I found this one, just a quite a big nut. If we go the furthest point is around about four centimeters, which is about an inch and a half. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to look a bit pant if I just do it like that. It's not quite the right shape for a nose. So what I'm going to try is putting him like that, uh, no, like that, and then cutting off here, turning that round, and putting it inside and moulding it up to try and get the right shape for the nose because the nose isn't round on the dog, it's sort of, you know, dog never shaped. go. Starting to be able to see what it will look like now. That's looking really good, I'm happy with that. Uh, so next stage, now that I've finished the main part of the sort of the face of the head, I'm gonna fill in the back of the head and fill in the neck, and you guys will come back once I've done that, and I, I will work on the ears. Right, the next stage is working on the ears, and just give this little pup some ears, because he's looking a bit weird at the moment, now, not he? I'll make some little templates out of cardboard, make sure I'm happy with the shape, and then we'll go over to the extreme plasma, cut some out, probably out of mm, two mil steel, I expect. So the last stage on this one is going through and filling in all these little gaps in between the larger pieces of scrap. Just gives it such a nicer finish, makes the whole thing look smoother.
Well, it's finished. Uh, the last few finishing touches I did were uh, just a bit of wire brush over the entire thing. A um, couple of coats of just a clear acrylic lacquer and the uh, collar made out of copper pipe just flattened and shaped around there. It's always a weird bit of the video when I sort of say how I feel about it, but, <laughs> well, I'm happy with it, you know? It's, um, it's stroking it. It's, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this one's come out. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching how I made it. Uh, if you did, leave a like. If you want to see what I do and keep up to date with the kind of things that I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have a good day.